I am finally gonna draw TikTok as a person. Let's just jump right into it. So here's what I'm thinking. TikTok's gotta be dancing, right? Doing the, the renegade or the, or the savage. And of course they should have self-given bangs and a little section of their eyebrow missing. Okay, I feel really old, but like who started the eyebrow thing, you know? Like was it was it an accident? Or were they were they like shaven and their hands were And then how did they get everyone to copy them? I mean how ingenious! Should we shave should we shave your eyebrows? No. Why? Those are my face caterpillars. <laughs> face caterpillars? <laughs> yeah, this one's Steve and this one's No, Starman. you name <laughs> For future reference, you're never allowed to name my characters. Obviously, TikTok's got to have that blue and red. I'm also making her a little younger, because, you know, TikTok's still relatively new, right? I'm almost done! She looks really cool. Well, thank you. She's a savage. <laughs> Ooh, she should have band-aids on her fingers from scrolling so much. She's done. All right, TikTok, <laughs> say hi to TikTok. So meta. Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. Oh, God. <laughs> Your belief in me is overwhelming. <laughs> Who will our first character be? Ooh, Elsa! And who will be combined with our icy queen? Oh no! <laughs> Squidward! How are we gonna do this one? <laughs> terrible! So for those that don't know, I have to somehow combine this winter wonderland of a woman with this disappointing squid! Dude, I have no reference point! He is a freaking alien! There's something wrong with his head! I am, I am really focusing on the tentacle part of Squidward tentacles. He is thicker than a snicker, heavy like a Chevy. Come on, Calamari, let me, let me. I hate Calamari. Would, I would give my soul for this drawing to not exist! I hate myself for making this! Find the generator here. Let's draw something random. And who will that somebody be? Abe Lincoln! <laughs> Good old Honest Abe, what are you doing today? Steampunk! <laughs> Steampunk Abe Lincoln! What's just a waiting to happen? <laughs> and you know, I think I'll make him really buff and manly because Georgie needs a friend! <laughs> Let's start with a nice saucy drawing of Lincoln. It kind of seems like you draw sexy presidents a lot. This is only two. Yeah, that's two more than most people. <laughs> I think you're just jealous. Hey. Don't be alarmed, it's just a pocket watch. Oh god. Let's give him some saucy hearts coming out of his pipe. You know, I really didn't think I'd be asking this, but do you think Abe Lincoln would have a ton of chest hair? Uh, I don't want to answer that. <laughs> Let's give him some feathers in his famous top hat. And some cool steampunk gogglies. Gogglies? <laughs> yes, gogglies. You got a problem? Oh god, what have I created? <laughs> Everybody say hello to Abe Lincoln and god bless America. <laughs> and if you want to try out the wanna draw generator, you can find it in my bio. So I drew Lightning McQueen and Sally as people. And you guys voted on who you wanted to see next, and it was Nick and Judy. So without further ado, let us make Nick and Judy human. Let's start with a sketch. Judy's got to have, like, bigger cheeks, like a bunny. Would you stop hitting me with your tail? And Nick's got, like, really low-set eyes, and he's, like, really sly. Like a fox. <laughs> <sighs> yes, Rich, very good. What? You're judging. It's You're funny. using your judging face! No. <laughs> You're all judging me! There is a significant height difference here. And Judy's got like some thick thighs. Short and thick, that's how we like them. Hey Rich, look. What? Bunny badge. <laughs> Originally, I was gonna give her buns, cause you know she's, she's a bunny. But the ponytail is just so good. Oh, they're ready. These two be happy! <laughs> Ooh, foxy lady! <laughs> And if you guys want to vote on who's next, you can find it right there. I'm going to draw Tinder as a person. Let's start with a sketch. Let me just say, I don't know a lot about Tinder. Because, like, I'm married. But I picture him as kind of a bro who does really bad pickup lines. The kind of man who thinks that a romantic gesture means shaving his chest hair into the shape of a heart. And he always be wearing sweatpants so he be ready for that Netflix and chill. Hello, baby. Do you like his tattoo? Why is it swiper? Because Tinder be swiping. <laughs> Tinder swipe. You swipe. You swipe on the Tinder. I don't know. If you hadn't married me, I might know more about Tinder, okay? <laughs> Gotta get those Tinder colors in. I think he's ready. Whoa, he's Mr. Steal Your Girl. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You're so weird. I'm gonna draw Twitter as a person. Woohoo. <laughs> okay, let's start with a sketch. So, I picture Twitter being a bit of a trauma queen. Like, you best believe she's got tea on everyone in town. She's the town's top-tier tea woman. Oh, God. Rich, what do you think?
think of when you think of Twitter? I don't know, I'm looking at Facebook. <gasps> Scandal! Scoundrel! Betrayal! Twitter's gonna have a field day with this one. I'm gonna make her a little bit older, because Twitter's been around for a while. And I'm gonna make her hair a little bird-like, because, you know, it's, it's Twitter, and birds, and... Birds have feathers, and... Oh, man. Please don't tweet about how ridiculous I am. And you, stop laughing at me! That booty though. <laughs> and there you go, it's uh, Miss Twitter. Hey, how you doing, pretty mama? Let me whisper in your ear. I just gotta know. What if Disney villains became princesses? So far, we've done Jafar, Hades, Gaston, Dr. Fasis... And Kronk! But this time it's gonna be a little different because it's time to do the god of mischief himself, Loki! There are no men like me. And there definitely won't be any princesses like you either. Yeah. Every time I draw a sassy princess, I always feel the need to put like a really high slit up her dress. I did the same thing with Hades, and you cannot tell me these two wouldn't be best friends. I also feel the need to point out that Loki can already look like this if he'd like to, because he can literally transform into anything or anyone. Wait. What was that for? <laughs> Just checking. Oh, and she's got an animal sidekick, and I think we already know what Loki's is gonna be. He transformed himself into a snake, and he knows that I love snakes. So I went to pick up the snake to admire it, and he transformed back into himself, and he was like, Yeah, it's me! And he stabbed me. Loki is definitely the kind of princess that if she finds out your prince is cheating on you, BAM! He's got itching powder in his undies! Wait, oh my <laughs> god, you got- <laughs> I'm in love. I'm- I'm gonna get married to this woman. I'm sorry! So when I talk about a Karen, you guys know who I'm talking about! But what about the other names? What would your name look like to me? Last time we did our boy Mike. But this time, we're doing Jessica! Alright, first off, Jessica is the mom of the friend group. Not only is she busy taking care of everyone else, but her purse contains everything, including Kleenex, pain meds, and dry deer jerky! <laughs> if it's the apocalypse. Jessica. Jessica is really on top of everything, except for the thousands of DIYs she started and never finished. Let us have a moment of silence for all of the unused paint and contact paper. But you never finished DIYs. Shh! No, 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 moment of silence. You know those signs in people's homes that say "girl boss" and "but first coffee." Uh, yeah. She has all of them in her home. Coincidentally, fall is actually Jessica's favorite season. <laughs> the fresh smell of pumpkin spice on all of Jessica's sweaters. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Water stained Uggs. Everybody make sure to say hello to your neighborhood, Jessica. What name do you guys want to see next? I think it's time to turn this king into a beautiful, sexy queen. <laughs> Let's start with a sketch. Now, here's something we know for certain. King got that cake. <laughs> Double cheeked up oh my God. on a Thursday <laughs> afternoon. Hella cake. You know, it's your birthday soon. You want some cake? You want some cake? No, you want some no. cake? Don't worry, King. He don't know what he missing. <laughs> hmm. What do you think? What do you think? Too, too sexy? Mm, too sexy? Maybe. Yeah, di dial it back. Dial it back. You know, I'm thinking Queen Science wears a crop top. <gasps> Ooh, I'm gonna put her inside a giant test tube sciency bottle. And of course, we have to include King's shoes because he always on brand. King, darling, your shoes are gorgeous, but oh my god. They were so hard to draw. I sold my soul to the devil to draw these shoes. You know, I've had many a conversation with King, and I honestly think he's going to appreciate being a beautiful, sassy queen. What do you think? You definitely made him look sexy. <laughs> but not more than you, though. Well, King, I hope you like queen science. I'm going to draw Instagram as a person. Let's start with a nice sketch. As a frequent Instagram user, I picture Instagram being very trendy and... Up about the times and what not that the children say. Yeah, good going. Just make yourself seem real old, Audrey. I also picture them using one of those old-fashioned Polaroid cameras. And just having, like, permanent duck face, just, like, all the time. Shoes. Oh my god, shoes! These shoes rule. These shoes suck. Wow, that was really heartfelt there, Rich. Let's start coloring in her lips. Hey, honey, give me your best duck face. <laughs> and on that note, we have our Gucci merch, our Adidas shoes, and a gorgeous Polaroid camera. Everyone say hello to Instagram. <laughs> the forever selfie queen. <laughs> okay, we've drawn Lightning and Sally. Nick and Judy. This is a toothless. Olaf. Appa. Stitch. And even Mushu as humans. That's a lot of characters. <laughs> You good? <laughs> I just wanted some milk. And this time it was so close, but you guys voted for Donkey. Hey, me, me, anyone. Oh, oh, pick me. Oh, I know. So let's turn this burrow into a bullio. <laughs> As always, we start it with the body type. And he's gotta, he's gotta be, you know, pretty, pretty thick around the middle with just <laughs> legs for seconds. <laughs> he's gotta be like, like in your face, obnoxious and loud, like, <laughs> like me. 
Oh. You're right, he's not like me, he's actually cool! He's the friend of the road trip trying to get everyone to still sing show tunes three hours into the road trip. He's got some major cheekage on this man. He's an ass man. Oh my god. I'm in his face! Jeez! <laughs> Say hello to Donkey! Vote on the next character here. Let's do some random drawing. And away we go. George Washington. Okay. And what shall Georgie be doing today? Being dead sexy. Be <laughs> oh, George, I'm about to turn you into such a babe. You know, I think he still needs the necktie, because it just, it just makes him Washington. All right, what sort of clothes did our president wear? Okay, the outfit I'm trying makes, like, no sense anatomically, but who cares? Sexy, right? And nothing screams sexy than buckles on your shoes. Let's give him some nice constitutional tattoos. Yay, coloring! What are you looking at? It's normal to draw this. It's normal to draw sexy Washington. Don't judge me. When I was a lad, I chopped down cherry trees every morning to help me get large. What do you say, guys? Sexy Washington 2020? Hey, Rich. What? You want to play a game? Oh, no. Well, too bad! Guess who? So for those that don't know, this is Guess Who, a game where Rich has to describe someone and I, I have to draw them and see how close I can get. So Rich, tell me about this man. Uh, well, he's really short and okay. he's really happy. <laughs> oh, oh, he's really short and happy. Oh, thanks, Rich. Here to help. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, are you? Are there any other details you'd like to give me? Well, he's got big ears. <laughs> big ears. He's wearing red shorts okay. and no shirt. Oh, he's shirtless, is he? And he's 92 years old. Ew! I thought you were talking Baywatch, not Life Alert! Why is he wearing a watch? Because old shirtless men always wear Rolexes. <laughs> I'm assuming he has gray hair, then. Actually, he has black hair, and it's black. all over him. <laughs> An old shirtless hairy man! This is the least favorite thing I've ever made. Who is it? Mickey Mouse! <laughs> Let's draw something random. Okay, who's it gonna be? The Queen of England? And what will the Queen be doing? Being goth. Wow, okay. You know what? Good for her. She's switching it up. She's trying something new. This is, this is 2020. Queen's goth. If the Queen's gonna be goth, we at least have to make her a classy goth. I mean, come on, she's the Queen. Well, I think I know what hat I'm gonna put her in because I cannot find a picture of her without one of these hats. Let's see, what color should her hat be? Black? Oh, and what should her dress be? Huh, let's see, uh, black? Okay, we have to add some splashes of color. She's creepy and she's kooky, mysterious and spooky, and altogether fabulous. Oh, God, save the queen. Do-do-do-do. I'm gonna draw Netflix as a person. No better way to start than with a sketch. So I picture Netflix as like a pretty big dude. Like the kind of guy you don't want to mess with, but could also spend hours watching reruns with. But he'd be that friend who takes a camera everywhere. Like, he's just filming everything, so he can just come out with so much content. I mean, Netflix is just on another level. Hey, Rich, you want to help me draw Netflix? What? <laughs> Do you like his pants? Um, The Office isn't going to be on Netflix pretty soon. No, sh no, that's not true. Shut up. No, I refuse. I refuse to believe it's not happening. I'm keeping the Dunder Mifflin pants. <laughs> I feel like he needs to have dark circles under his eyes because he's tired from watching all the Netflix. And since he is Netflix, he doesn't have Netflix to remind him that he's been watching too much Netflix. <laughs> Do you like that joke? <laughs> he's got really relaxed clothes on, because, you know, Netflix is always down to chill. And with that, I think we're ready. What do you guys think? Is Netflix your number one choice? I mean, he do be looking pretty fine. They say you can recognize a good character by its silhouette. That being said... Hey, Rich! Yeah? Who's that silhouette? That's Eddie Murphy. So, using donkeys! <laughs> silhouette and only donkey silhouette, I'm gonna create a brand new character. I am not allowed to add or subtract from this shape in any way, which means I have to find uses <laughs> for all of these? I... Sh that's not a hand, right? So I've landed on this being like a mermaid tail, but I still don't know what this hairy bar is. <laughs> This is going surprisingly well so far. Oh, I have yeah, not. Rather than where her hands. <laughs> Dang it, Richard. Dang it, Richard! Why does it sound like you were waiting to say I, that? I was waiting for 20 minutes for you to add hands. She is a mermaid with no self preservation skills. She is coated in fishnets and not the good kind. Catch me, fisherman daddy. Catch me. <laughs> you ever had old fish for dinner? Do you want to? <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry. Tradition. Madam, <laughs> they catfish. She catfished many a fisherman in her day. Put on the next character here. It's Valentine's Day, and that means it's time to draw my husband. Quick, while well, he's distracted. Unlike our anniversary, on Valentine's Day, I draw him doing something weird. My favorite one being two years ago when I decided to draw him as an Olympic skater with our cats. But I'm stepping up my game this year and drawing him as a beautiful princess. He's always telling me that I'm his princess. Well, this is your chance to sparkle like the beautiful creature that you are. My drawing space has been invaded by a cute, adorable, fluffy thing. Ah, there's more. I can't have distractions. Too busy drawing my husband like the beautiful queen that he is. Okay, no joke. I'm actually going like all out for this drawing. Only the best for you. Are you talking to me? No. Put your headphones back on. Why? No reason. Don't worry about it. Just some last minute touches and... I finished the drawing and he looks absolutely beautiful. Hey, Rich. Can I show you something? What are you doing? Okay, look. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? look like Princess Peach. So when I talk about a Karen, you guys know who I'm talking about. But what about the other names? What would your name look like to me? <laughs> Last time we did Linda, fabulous Linda. But this time we're doing Mike. 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 <laughs> First and foremost, Mike's entire personality exists in his front lawn. <laughs> about it, think about it. Have you ever met a young Mike? No. No! <laughs> they all emerge at the age of 35 from either perfectly mown grass or the home improvement aisle of Home Depot. <laughs> Mikes radiate like pure dad energy. What if there's a younger Mike. Oh, he won't exist for long. What? They'll get him. What the oh, and you might be thinking to yourself, Mike's entire personality is just grass and grills, but you'd be wrong! You'd be so wrong! If you happen to find yourself invited into the home of a Mike, you might notice their superb sound system. <laughs> That's in order to watch all of their war documentaries! When you turn up the bass, you can really feel the explosions! But come springtime, all the Mikes shed their North Face coats and don their Wrangler jeans only to cut them into the fabulous jorts! Let me introduce you to your friendly neighborhood, Mike! <laughs> I'm gonna draw YouTube as a person. Let's jump right in with a nice sketch. So here's what I'm thinking for the the tubes, man. Yep, nope, never, never gonna say that <laughs> sentence again, ever again. I think YouTube would be like pretty the tubes, cool. Tubes, man. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Gotta give him some nice headphones, cause I love me some YouTube let's please. I'm also gonna give him like a a skater prankster vibe. Also gonna give him a nice ring light, cause you know those those silly YouTubers <laughs> with their ring lights, so silly. Rich! Huh. What color should YouTube's hair be? Uh, uh brown? Red! Uh, <laughs> you're just doing this to mess with me at this point. You know it should be red! And of course, YouTube's gonna have perfect eyebrows because, you know, all those tutorial videos! Are you guys ready to see this video reveal of this video streaming service's video character? <laughs> Here he is! It's the YouTube! Tubes man! I hate you! I hate you! What do you guys think? Would you put, <laughs> would you put a like on this YouTube video? So I heard that it was The Rock's birthday. Happy birthday, Dwayne. <laughs> and considering the month, we're going to make him a mermaid. My, my, what a marvelous specimen of a man. What? <laughs> okay, since it was his first acting role, we're going to make him a Scorpion King mermaid. <laughs> but like, not, not the CG one. No. <laughs> Let's get this started. Oh god, what have I done? I've never been good at drawing muscles. And he's just like entirely muscle. Stop laughing at me! You know, I think the Scorpion King's the only time I've ever seen him with hair. And I gotta say, I think I prefer the non-moss covered rock. <laughs> I'm gonna make him a shark, cause he's a strong boy. Let's make this shield shiny! Mm-mm-mm. Stop that, no. <laughs> you guys wanna see? Here he is! The rock is a mermaid! Wow, quarantine really got to him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here's the real Scorpion King Merman. Ooh. What do you think? Nice stinger. What? <laughs> what can we say except happy birthday? Oh dear god. We've drawn Lightning and Sally. Nick and Judy. Toothless. Ahua. Appa. Stitch. Ooh, Mushu. And Donkey as humans. Rich. Oh god. <laughs> Is that a bagel? That's a lot of characters. And this time, it was really close, but you guys voted for Sid! The Sid! Needless to say, I'm a little excited. Oh, are you sure? Shut Put the floor bagel down! Okay, I've started! And I'm trying so hard not to make him look like a freaking lizard! And well, for body shape, he'd be a nice round, a juicy, a purr. <laughs> Eating scungy floor bagels. 
just some last minute touches and say hello to our favorite slacker hold on the next character here i just gotta know what if disney princesses became villains i've drawn quite a few disney villains as beautiful princesses but this time we're switching it up and seeing what would happen if we went the other way so without further ado let's make anna into the villain she was destined to be and you may be wondering why we're not doing elsa we want to see her really let it go you may be surprised to find out but elsa was supposed to be a villain and i don't think i could improve on these designs basically what would anna be like if she never found her strong handsome good boy and instead went with the Disgusting hot. Sucked in by those beautiful eyes. <laughs> How are you pouting? I'm sorry, Luna. You have to go. This is the I think my husband's eyes are ugly corner. Are you freaking serious right now? I think the evil Anna would have very opulent taste to match her brand new disgusting husband. <laughs> Even though Anna has her own crown in the second movie, I'm going to give her Elsa's crown from the first movie. Because she definitely killed her for it. <laughs> Here she is in all of her evil glory. <laughs> Who do you guys want to see next? Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. <gasps> <laughs> and who will our first character be? Ooh, Rapunzel! Ooh, I love it. Whole new world. <gasps> That's not Rapunzel. What? <laughs> Get out of the cushion, Rich. No. You can't hide from the comet! And who is lucky enough to be combined with her? I just want to combine this absolute goddess. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is cursed. I've decided to lean a little bit more under her features, and you know what? It was the right choice. A whole new curse! A horrible thing I'm forced to draw! Okay, wait. This actually might be working. Guys, beach ball princess? Yeah, yeah. Beach ball princess? Yeah. thought I was gonna hit her over the head with a frying pan, but like, I'm on board with this! Like, Shrek who? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Find the generator here! I'm going to draw Facebook as a person. No better way to start than with a sketch. So I picture Facebook as being like an overly happy next door neighbor. The neighbor that's just like always in everyone else's business. <laughs> he'd be he'd be a little bit older now, you know, he, he's got he's got dad energy, but he still dresses kind of young because, you know, he's he's just holding on. He's holding on to the old days. And his pockets are just like filled to the brim with advertisements and news articles and, and pictures of his cat. <laughs> and he'll give them to you whether you want them or not. And I'm giving him binoculars because, you know, Facebook always seems to know things. Strange. Rich. What? What do you think of Facebook? Uh, it's always reminding me of stupid stuff I said 10 years ago. <laughs> oh, you mean like all the poems nope. you used to write nope, me nope, on there? Stop it. <laughs> Somebody's embarrassed. No. But you know, no matter what, we can always count on Facebook for one thing. He's always there to say happy birthday. You go, FB. So when I talk about a Karen, you guys know who I'm talking about. But what about the other names? What does your name look like to me? Last time, we did Chad. But this time, you guys voted for Patricia. Patricias are either really old or really young. There's just, there's just no middle ground there. And when she was young, she listened to no one. Patricia! Get it together, sweetie. We have a show this weekend. Now that she's older, she still listens to no one. But that's more due to the hearing aids. <laughs> Trishas demand the finer things in life, even from, from their suitors, their lovers. Like a gigolo. <laughs> what did you just say? Uh, I don't want to, I don't know, I don't want to say it again. <laughs> First of all, that is not how you say that. Second of all, that is not what you think it is. <laughs> no, the finer things in life, you know, like, like opera and, and pearl necklaces and, <laughs> and, Olive Garden. What? Bring me more breadsticks, breadstick boy! Cause you know what? Patricia's aged like fine wine. Expensive with perfect taste. And just a little bit bitter. <laughs> oh, here's to you, Patricia. You're better than the rest of us. Vote on the next name here. So I heard that Fortnite is working with an artist to create a new character. And you know, I kind of want to try to make one too. <laughs> so with that in mind, what if my husband was in Fortnite? Oh, their new character's name is Cos Peely and he's like this big cool banana man. Rich, on the other hand, I... <laughs> I know he looks like a lumberjack, and I'm gonna make him one, but he's not quite... He could bring cotton candy to a battle and still win. I really do appreciate, like, the good character design they have for him. I really like these, these popcorn things coming out of his ears. I just had a thought, like, are those popcorn kernels? What are the... Those better not be teeth. This drawing is going in a slightly different direction than I assumed. But, like, I'm, I'm kind of here for it. The real question is what will Rich think? Richard... Richard, how do you feel about bananas? What? How do you feel about bananas? Um, I love bananas. You love the Good! Why? That's great! What, what, 
That's great news. Talk about your forbidden fruit. <laughs> well, cause Peely and my husband are ready. <laughs> we just have to get his reaction. Okay, look. <laughs> Do you like him? I love him. <laughs> it's been quite a while since I've drawn any interesting pictures of my husband. <laughs> and the lovely uptime Princess Dress Up has given me a golden opportunity. So that means it's time to draw my husband. Let's find an outfit for me to draw him in. You know, it's pretty, but I don't think it's quite screaming Goddess Richard to me. <laughs> There's just so many beautiful options for him. I found the Perfect outfit. I'm gonna turn him into a witchy princess for fall. I always wonder if one of these years, one of these drawings is gonna make him realize that he should have left me just years ago. How long has Rich's beard gotten recently? I'm on a secret mission. I'm on a secret mission. I can't hear you. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? Hello. Since his beard's gotten pretty long and he's a witch, I'm gonna make his beard star shaped. I've always thought Rich had really good legs for thigh highs or fishnets. Not to mention the dumpy. <laughs> No! There is a lot of detail in these clothes, but that's fine, you know what? Because only the best, only the best for my pumpkin spice. <laughs> you guys have finished me witchy witchy! But what does witchy witchy think? What did you call <laughs> Okay, look. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best time princess to me, honey. <laughs> Go and find your own outfit. Find the game here. Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. <gasps> Whoa. And who will our first character be? Oh, Louisa! <laughs> so they're gonna be strong and gorgeous. Who is she combined with? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Mr. Fredrickson! No! no! Rich, there's, there's, no there's hope! There's hope. Buff Grandma. What? Buff Grandma! So for those not in the know, I have to somehow combine the textbook definition of a crotchety old man <laughs> with a goddess. <laughs> Mommy, sorry. Well, this is working! People really aren't buff, though. Oh! You are wrong. Let me introduce you to uh, Ernest Shepard. She is an 80-year-old bodybuilder, and she could snap you in half. If nothing else, this has taught me one thing. Old women of the world, you do not need life alert. No, no. You need deadlifts. <laughs> Leaving the saving of the earth to the men? I don't think so. Hard of hearing and hard of biceps. <laughs> this is one of the best ones I've ever done. Who's the abuela now? Find the generator here. Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. <gasps> Woo! Uh, and who is going to be first? Ooh, Mrs. Incredible Stretchy Queen! And who is lucky enough to be combined with her? Oh my god! <laughs> oh no, 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 no. <laughs> What are you going to do? I don't, I don't know! <laughs> so for those that don't know, I have to somehow combine this beautiful Kirby Queen with that! <laughs> isn't working. <laughs> Rich, yeah. how do I make a curvy, luscious cube? I don't know. Okay, she's gonna have hips that don't lie, <laughs> but no thighs. Oh great, this thing's gonna have stretchy arms that can reach all the things. Are you Just... okay? <laughs> no! Oh, <laughs> this thing shouldn't exist! Oh. <laughs> Let me just say, I'm sorry! I'm sorry for making this! I'm the generator in my bio. You guys know Call Me Chris. Yeah. <laughs> well, three times now, I've drawn all of her characters. But nay, I cannot rest. What are you doing? For she has made more! So, without further ado, let's start with one of my new personal favorites. <laughs> you best move out of the way when Chriselle comes in the room. Move out of the way, Rich. What? Move out of the way, Rich! Chriselle's new TV show, Keeping Up With Chris, got me like Kim Kardashian, huh? <laughs> this next character may even be less grounded in reality. I'm Amanda. Amanda definitely turns every single car ride into a therapy session. <laughs> Coincidentally, after you get out of her car, you also need a therapy session. <laughs> oh, and last but not least, we have my new colleague. <laughs> you know, I have been compared to other artists. I want to argue, but I know people like this. <laughs> you know what? I admit it. Gunter is superior. <laughs> this drawing is my Winchester mansion. It will never be done. <laughs> Who's your favorite? <laughs> we're going to draw something random. Let's find out who we're drawing. Gordon Ramsay. Good old Gordon, what are you doing? As a magic girl. Oh my god. You know, there's a small chance that Gordon Ramsay already is a magic girl. Let's start with a sketch. Yes, Gordon, harness that rage. I feel like his magical outfit should be made out of food. You know, since Gordon Ramsay is like king of insults, it kind of makes me wonder what he would say about my drawing. Oh yeah, draw like a donkey. 
Okay, we're going to start Are coloring. Are you trying to sound like Shrek? <sighs> no. It's Gordon Ramsay, you uncultured swine. You you donkey. I already know I can't do accents. Jeez. Gotta put some lemons in there because he be sour. I gave him loafers. Get it? Loafers? Oh my god, what have I created? This may well be the greatest thing I have ever made. Are you proud of me, Gordon? I have a brand new drawing and I need sass now. So you've heard of Bones No Bones Day. It's about Noodles, the dog. Every day Noodles owner wakes him up and if you can stand, it's a Bones Day. And if you can't stand, it's a No Bones Day. So I'm gonna create a drawing for Bones Day and No Bones Day. What is a Bones Day? It's a good day. Oh. And a No Bones Day is a bad day. Oh. Let's start with No Bones. For this drawing, I really want Noodles to look like he's got no bones! A no bones day is a good day for some self-care and to lay in a pile of your own drool. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's wrong with your bread? No, that's my dog. If a no bones day's got noodles feeling weak, <laughs> then I know what must be done for the bones day. <laughs> muscle pug, muscle pug, I'm drawing a muscle pug. Noodles doesn't look like spaghetti, he looks like a whole beefy ravioli. <laughs> Richard, do you like bone puns? No. Really? You don't find them humorous? Oh. <laughs> Are you ready for the reveal? Here's no bones day! <laughs> You guys need to prepare yourselves for Bones Day. Are you seated? Have you had some water? You need some water. Get some water. You got your water? It's Bones Day! <laughs> Whether it's a no Bones Day or a Bones Day, just have a great day. It's Valentine's Day, and usually that means my wife draws me. <laughs> but this time I'm gonna draw her. Fused with somebody random. And who am I combining with the love of my life? Big Bird! Oh god, she's gonna hate me. <laughs> I really gotta make sure I do a good job, so I'm gonna trace. Nobody tell my wife. She may be half Big Bird, but I'll be danged if she doesn't have some smexy legs. If anyone's worried that she might wake up, don't. I've got it covered. She'll never know. <laughs> I finished it. I'm definitely not getting a present this year. It's time to show her now. <laughs> Richard, you have to stop doing this. I know that it's not you. Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> So guess what, honey? What? I drew you! <laughs> oh, good! Okay, look. <laughs> it's oh. you! Fused this big bird! <laughs> Find the generator here. They say you can recognize a good character by its silhouette. That being said... Hey, Rich! Yeah? Who's that silhouette? That's Clefairy. <laughs> so, using Pikachu's... <laughs> Silhouette and only Pikachu silhouette. I'm going to create a brand new character I should add that I am not allowed to add or subtract from this shape in any way Which means I have to find uses for all the spiky bits. I have been trying for 30 minutes To add feet to this thing. I can't do it Okay, Had a break had a snack not that snack came back and now she's a beaver and you might be asking yourself Audrey how does her being a beaver make her any easier to draw well now i made her foot into a pepper and she's jalapeno business oh. <laughs> and they're ch chilly out bro that's the worst <laughs> i'm a genius pikachu's tail is now a speech bubble <laughs> it's betty ah. <laughs> i'm going to redraw my husband's artwork <laughs> I do computer things. <laughs> well, today you make art. You make art for your lovely wife. <laughs> All right, let's see it. Oh, <laughs> what is this? It's Sir Vinegar the Pickle. <laughs> so here's the goal. I have to redraw... Sir, Sir Vinegar the Pickle! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I have to redraw Sir Vinegar the Pickle uh, exactly as he is, but in my own style. Richard, do, does Sir Vinegar have an axe? Yes. For a wizard staff for a particular reason. I'm kind of I'm kind of living for the feathers in his hat. Uh, what feathers? Those aren't feathers. Oh, oh they're feathers. They're feathers. What, what are those, Richard? You know, I thought it was gonna be bad, but I'm not really hating the blush. He's just going for like a, a Pikachu moment. All right, guys, <laughs> Sir Vinegar to Pickle is done. What do you think of your character, Rich? I love him as much as a man could love a pickle. <laughs> what does that mean? Wanna play a game? God. <laughs> well, too bad! It's Guess Who! But for those not in the know, this is a game where Rich has to describe someone, and I, I have to draw them and see how close I can get! Alright, Rich! Tell me about this character. Well, he's kind of tall. He's tall! And he's strong, like, puh! <laughs> <laughs> like, puh? Is this puh enough for you? Uh, it's pretty puh. It's pretty puh. I just want to make sure he's not lacking a puh. He's got a ton of hair, like, so much hair. Oh! Is it like... Is it like healthy hair or like? Um, uh, he conditions. <laughs> we got the hair, we got the bod, we got the facade. How's the fit? Uh, what fit? 
His clothes. What's he wearing? Nothing. <laughs> I can't draw that, Rich. Okay, well, he's wearing a fur coat. Why am I doing this? Oh, his hair and his coat or whatever are blue and purple. Here's mine. Wow. What was it? Sully. <laughs> Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. <gasps> oh, I spy a dumpy. And who will our first character be? Oh, Russell from Up. And who's gonna be combined with cute little Russell? Oh <gasps> I can't do this one, Rich. You can do it. No. So for those that don't know, I have to somehow combine this adorable little little wilderness <laughs> jelly bean with a spicy octopus. I have restarted. Five times! I cannot! I can't get a middle point! <laughs> Help me! I hate... I... I hate it. I... <laughs> Fifth time's a charm! I went a little younger and it's... it's not... it's not bad. She is going to be a marine biologist scout leader who's just... a little bit sus. <laughs> oh, and she definitely makes all of her students sing Disney songs on the bus. I'm scout leader, Russell! I don't really want to sing Disney anymore! No! Please don't take my voice! Say hello to scout leader, Russell! <laughs> You can find the generator here. So, I've drawn some, uh, interesting pictures of my husband throughout the years. <laughs> but this year, I'm kicking it up a notch. And I'm making him into a PlayStation character. First things first, I think we have to decide what kind of game my husband's going to be in. I think it would be a game where Rich is a wizard and he's looking for the nine magical cats in the land of Paul. And similar to God of War, we have a family dynamic in this game. We have Rich, we have me, I'm a cat. We have Luna and Kira, you're in the game. You know, you could show a little support. I do feed you. Every character is unique. You know, Kratos, he's very strong and powerful and rich. <laughs> he's adorable. And similar to Ratchet and Clank, I like games where you have a small character and a big character that work together. I always like working with my big boy. <laughs> you know, I can hear you, right? And I go. <laughs> yeah, we're just like Ratchet and Clank. Inseparable duo. Now I'm trying to put Rich into a really colorful outfit, sort of like Aloy, but I'm having a little bit of trouble picturing him in anything other than a dirty t shirt. What are you doing? Nothing. Nosey, get out! Nice t-shirt. Thank you. <laughs> Aloy, a fearless, determined, super cool outfit just like me! Definitely me! It's done! And we have all of these super cool PlayStation characters in <laughs> And we have us! But now it's time to get the main character's reaction! What? Okay, look. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you like it? There's so many kitties. Okay, I've drawn lightning and Sally. Nick and Judy. Toothless. Hola. Okay, Sid, Ollie, and Eve, and even Tom and Jerry as humans. But this time, you voted for Timon and Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's time to draw warthogs and ground your know, prairie dog. <laughs> oh, I picture Boom to be very loving and sweet. Timon, on the other hand, I picture basically like Ed and Eddie. These two drifters find an abandoned child and decide to raise him as their own. Don't you hate it when you know you have your girlfriend over for the first time in many years and your adopted dads are in the next room singing about how you're doomed to fail at life? What? And then your and then your dead dad shows up as a cloud and lectures you on responsibility. What? <laughs> I certainly do. I want them to have sort of like a like a lazy tourist what vibe to them. Warthogs. <laughs> do you mean warthogs? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you you have a college degree. <laughs> Turn that note. Oh. Say hello to Timon and Pumbaa. <laughs> Dads in all the pride land. Hold on, the next character's here. They say you can recognize a good character by its silhouette. That being said, hey, Rich. What? Who's that silhouette? Um, that's Remy. Nope. But that is Remy. Well, it's Remy for now. Using Remy silhouette and only Remy silhouette, I'm going to create a brand new character. <laughs> I should say, I'm not allowed to add or subtract from this shape in any way, which means I don't know what I'm going to do about their feet. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, you guys, you guys, 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 no, guys, this is going to be a brand now that I know she's a witch, everything's coming together so perfectly! Everything! Except for the rat tail! I am a genius! The rat tail? It's a rat tail! Isn't that cheating? No! These are my rules! Audrey rules! Not Richard rules! These yeah, are Richard rules! Richard rules! He's the best! <laughs> yeah. I hate you! <laughs> Who's that silhouette? It's Remy! It's Margaret! It's Margaret? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Margaret and Sir Squibbles! <laughs> Who do you want to see next? <laughs> It's day 65 of quarantine. And while we were watching Cars, my, uh, husband <laughs> asked me what I thought Lightning and Sally would look like if they were human. So let's find out. So here's the big question that has, uh, plagued me for this entire drawing. If he was human, would Lightning be a track star or a NASCAR driver? NASCAR driver, y'all. Yeah.
But he is the car, oh, Rich. He seems like he'd be an No, he driver. is the car. <laughs> whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter. We're drawing. We're drawing oh, Sally. Fuck. And for Sally, she needs to be very put together and dressed very well. And of course, Lightning has to be very smug. <laughs> he would totally be that guy that like wears his own merch everywhere. He's, he's so, so vain. vain. He always likes to wear his own merch because he's so vain. Are you ready for this? Here they are, Lightning McQueen and Sally. But you know, what would they look like during quarantine? Ba bam <laughs> And if you guys want to vote on the next character I'm going to draw, you can do it right there. I like her shirt. <laughs> I think it's finally time we ask, what if spring was alive? As always, let's start with a sketch. So I'm going to make her vacuuming, you know, because like spring cleaning. I feel like she'd also look just a little bit tired. You know, she just woke up, has to clean like Sleeping Beauty. Move over! Spring has sprung, and she is fierce! Fierce. <laughs> what was that little number? Don't hate, appreciate! <laughs> Ingrich might have lost it! He's built like a tree, long legs for days! No, but like, I'm actually making her look like a cherry tree! I actually feel like Spring has that energy of that friend that you invite over to hang out, but all they want to do is clean your freaking room! You know who you are! I didn't clean your room, I cleaned your bathroom. Oh yeah! Big difference! She's got a bird's nest in her hair, you know, cause Easter, and also cause, you know, she's just a little chaotic. She's hot, then she's cold, she's cleaning up the snow. She's warm in the rain, it's springtime, and it's insane! Let's draw something random with the fusion generator! Oh yeah! And who will our first character be? Oh, Corella DeVille! And who shall be combined with Miss DeVille? <laughs> I'm sure this is gonna turn out perfect! For those that don't know, I have to somehow combine this evil skunk lady <laughs> Combining someone who likes to wear animal pelts with an animal can be a bit of a challenge. I should realize something. It makes sense why this character is obsessed with pelts and there aren't any more mammoths in the world. <laughs> Oh, this character's got some bumping hips, and you might think Corolla, but no, you are mistaken. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. You guys tell me. Do you guys care about Cidella Desla? Find the generator here. Okay, so I found this random drawing thing. Let's try it out. A zombie. In a sexy swimsuit. Oh no. Okay, let's start with a rough outline. I could go board shorts, but I'm gonna go bikini because that's fabulous. If there's a zombie apocalypse and the zombie is in a bikini, did he put it on before he got to be a zombie? I I, I have questions. Girl, you gotta trim them toenails. Alright, line work's done. Let's do some coloring. Stop making noise! I'm drawing zombies in bikinis! It's very important work! Gotta add some blush, cause he know he look good. He wore an itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. Sometimes I wonder if I made the right choice going to art school. But then I get to make things like this and I know it was all worth it. Animal Crossing has finally been released! But unfortunately my copy isn't being delivered until tomorrow. But instead of sitting around being sad about it, I've decided to draw my cats and my husband as Animal Crossing characters. What? Do you even know what Animal Crossing is? Does it have animals? Oh my god, Red. Moving on from that, let's start with a sketch. As for our outfits, I'm going to put us some stuff we usually wear. Got my jean jacket and my flannel. And of course, Rich's cute adventure shirt. Oh my god. Now to draw these two little demons masquerading as angels. Gonna have to simplify, you guys. Why you gotta be so complicated? Kira's gonna be fishing. And Luna's gonna be digging because all she does is dig in her litter all day. She just keeps digging in her litter. Now I just have to color and then I'm done. Are you ready for the big reveal? It's me and Rich. And Kira. And Luna. Okay, open your eyes. What do you think? <laughs> you like it? That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. So I've drawn lightning and Sally. Toothless! Olaf! Sid, Wally, and Eve, and a lot of others as humans. But this time, you guys overwhelmingly voted for Tom and Jerry? I'm really surprised, but let's do Tom and Jerry! Since Tom and Jerry was actually a show started in the 40s, I'm gonna give them 40s outfits. I asked Rich if they ever wore any outfits in the show before, and just, I, I can't 
put him in that. He ridge. looks good. No! Not doing the orange and the and the green. Oh, uh, but that's the best part. No, it's, no, it's not. <laughs> I gotta get me one of those. <laughs> yeah. Don't you dare. Tom definitely cares a little bit more about his appearance. You know, he's out here looking looking suave in his best suit. But Jerry, <laughs> Jerry's looking ratty. You like my pun? Oh, honey. Nice <laughs> <Hey>, pun. <laughs> I love Jerry and all, but Tom, Tom's hitting a bit different here. What does that mean? Nothing? I'm, I'm not simping for Tom. Stop it! Here they are, <laughs> Tom and Jerry. They have never looked better. <laughs> Vote on the next character here. As artists, it's sometimes hard to tell how far we've come and if we've really gotten any better. So as a way to test if I've gotten any better, I'm going to redraw some of my old artwork. And my loving husband Rich has decided that I'm going to redraw this piece that I made back in 2015. I, I had never done digital artwork back then and um, I was kind of obsessed with white gel pens. I spent like 30 minutes picking out one white gel pen and I'm like, can I just go home? I'm sorry! You know, the one thing I still do though... What? The, the outline. Bam! Outline! Oh, what's that as an outline? What do we have here? Another outline! Why do I do this? What is it accomplishing? It may be seven years later, but you know what doesn't change? My need to do incessant details! You see the pores? I added pores! Why, you might ask? Well, I don't know. No one else is going to see them, but I do. I see them. There's even texture in her freaking socks, man. <laughs> I'm amazing! This one sort of gives like Becky vibes, you know? But this one, <laughs> this one's Deborah. <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> I finally finished with Deborah, and uh, I, think, <laughs> I think my style's changed just a wee tad in the last seven years. Which one do you guys like better? Drawing challenge, cafe style. <laughs> I'm sick. We are going to be drawing that man. Okay. Ten minutes and go. I start sketching. I sound like an old woman who smoked too many cigarettes. I don't know what kind of pose to give him. Five minute warning. <laughs> God. How's it going, Mikey? Don't look down on me. His hand is bad, but I have to move on. Put your last minute touches on it, you guys. Pencils down. 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 <laughs> oh my God. Now it's time for him to choose the winner. Will it be Mikey's? Maybe. Will it be Chaos's? So, so sass. Or will it be mine? He's really happy about his little woods card. <laughs> Sir, we, we drew you. Can you tell us who won? Oh, uh, well, yeah, yeah. The moment of truth. The tension in this room. This <gasps> one. Oh, Mikey won! <laughs> Everyone clap for Mikey, clap, snaps. So I've been wondering, what if fast food companies went to private school? We know these companies now, but what were they before? A jock, a goth, a nerd! Hey! <laughs> and every once in a while a company reaches out and they say, Hey Audrey, what would we look like? And I say, what if Slurpee went to private school? <laughs> so I think Slurpee would be a science geek. Spending all of her days in the science lab, mixing all the new drinks like you do when you get a Slurpee. <laughs> but I only get cherry when I go. <laughs> you heathen. What is wrong with you? <laughs> you know what, Rich? What? I think I need to do a little bit of research. What? <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> research, Richard! I got it. No. <laughs> More. More? You have to mix them this time. Oh, uh, but sure. <laughs> and back to the scientist. Oh, oh, she could be a slurpologist. <laughs> I think the slurpee's going to your head. It's all gone, yeah. <laughs> I think it's safe to say she'd have the most energy out of all the other students. <laughs> Instead of a backpack, she carries around her Slurpee container, which might be why she was invited to most parties. Oh, and just like Slurpee, she's always dressed in the most exuberant colors. <laughs> Are you guys ready to meet your new best friend? <laughs> she may be messy and a little peppy, but you know what? She's always sweet. Say hello to Slurpee! Who do you guys want to see next? I'm going to redraw my husband's artwork. <laughs> oh, but I'm just sitting down. I'm not Should... working. You have to try. Kicking <laughs> and screaming the entire time. What did you make? It's Madame Pony. <laughs> so here's the goal. I have to reach Madame Pony Guard in my own style. And you know what? Some days, there are days, there are days when I wonder, am I using my expensive art degree to its fullest extent? But then I get to draw people like Madame Pony Guard and her magical sheep. That's and I a think, horse. That's not... obviously a horse. Who oh, is it? I'm not changing it. Her name it. is Madame Pony. It's too late. You can't win me over with your words. You know what? I was originally kind of worried about all the gold, thinking it wouldn't work, but it works since she has a sun on her head. That is a sun. Yeah. That's a sun? That's a sun. It's not some kind of weird cactus, no. is it? Well, I'm just checking. You never know. Could be 
a horse. This is the most stressful thing I've created, but everyone say hello to Madam Pony Guard. Is she everything you dreamed of, Rich? Yeah. Could have had a horse, though. I swear to God. I've drawn my husband as a lot of different things and a lot of different times. But what if other creators tried to draw my husband? <laughs> Tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. Am I ready for art talk? You are! So much concentration. So much concentration. I'm like this, I'm shaking. Oh my god, I love it. Three. And I said, well, I like a root beer. You gotta draw my husband. It's time. Yay, I mean yay. I'm a little terrified. I'm excited though. Oh my god! I draw my husband. Okay. Stop moving. <laughs> I said stop moving. Okay, okay. Let's move. No, you're still moving. Stop it. I, I the drawing. I can I see. The whole oh, <laughs> look at you. There's this new AI filter that's been going around making some art, and I think we all know what needs to be done. It's an art showdown, and it's me versus the AI. I'm going to have the random drawing generator figure out what we're drawing. Who are we going to draw? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not good at drawing animals. What is the alligator going to be doing? <laughs> oh, he's an animal. In all serious, I'm actually, <laughs> actually kind of worried. Why? Cause, Cause it's a computer. It has all the skill of the entire internet. I have me, and I can't draw alligators. You're so good. No, though. no, no. Cause yeah. this thing, this thing can reference like <laughs> Da Vinci, and I'm over here drawing fettuccine legs. Are you feeling better? <sighs> I am so much better. You know what? I've thickened <laughs> him up, and now he's got both cheeks on Europe. He's pretty cute, but like, I'm still kind of nervous. The AI is gonna be better. Oh. So you used two different filters because what did you, what did you say? Uh, one of them was way too realistic. Realistic. Oh, God, okay. <laughs> All right. Show them. Oh, realistic. <laughs> God, it's a nightmare. <laughs> say hello to Charles Dingle Find the generator here. It's Halloween, and that means it's time to draw my husband and my best friend. They have foolishly allowed me to design their costumes this year. I am going to be berries. Rich. Is gonna be cream, <laughs> and a certain best friend is going to be a little lad. <laughs> Drawings done, <laughs> but now I gotta, I gotta make the costumes. Couldn't <laughs> necessarily find a cream costume for Rich, but I found a milk carton. I got you a morph suit. Try it on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think I've forgotten about you. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think we might need to cut the wig. <laughs> Mommy's gonna give me the little lad haircut. Don't do this. <laughs> you guys aren't ready for these costumes. Do you know what it's time for? Baddies! Baddies! Baddies and what else? Cream! Cream! Oh. Oh. It's a little bit of a So today's my grandfather's 90th birthday. And while my husband and I were on a walk, I decided that I was gonna draw him. And since 90 is such a special birthday, we thought it would be cool to share it with all of you. This is my grandfather, Ken. And I'll be using this great photo of him in his 90th birthday costume for reference. And without further ado, let's get to sketching. Fun fact about my grandfather, him and most of my extended family all live in Michigan. So unfortunately, that means I don't get to visit him that much. But whenever I would visit, he'd always take me out into his garden. And since he really likes flowers and plants and things, I'm going to draw him surrounded by them. On a side note, one of my favorite things about drawing old people are all the wrinkles. I mean, come on, they make the face so much more interesting. You know, my grandpa used to be a teacher, so I kind of wonder if any of his students ever, like, drew him. I do know that a student once, uh, pooped in his boot. Yeah. <laughs> Why? That's a story for another time, honey. It's about happy things, not about my grandfather's great boot debauchery. I think we're ready. Here he is, and everyone say happy birthday to my grandpa. Happy birthday. Teaching my husband how to draw. What? <laughs> no, my channel name is Richard Does Not Draw. Well, today it's Richard Does Draw. <laughs> Uh, what are we drawing? Now? We're gonna use the random drawing generator. What are we drawing? A pear. What's our pear gonna do? As a pro wrestler, yes. Why are you so scared looking? Okay, first step: get our reference photos. Pick a pear. That one. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm too sick for you to be doing that. Okay, the first step is to draw Can the stage. Just trace it. No, no tracing. Okay, using simple shapes, you're gonna draw the pear out, the shape of it. Okay. I'll try. I believe in you, honey. That's not bad. He just looks a little squatty. Yeah. Okay, it's time to add the face and some leg. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, there we go. Mine has big muscles. 
Okay, we're gonna give them their outfits now. Okay, Luna? Okay, he says I'm not allowed to look at it, but the last step is to color. The big reveal. Oh my god, look at him! Oh my god, I love him! This guy stays my wife's birthday. Since she's always drawing me, this time I'm gonna draw her. Fused with someone random. <laughs> Who's lucky enough to be fused with my beautiful wife? Smokey the Bear! <laughs> I'm gonna do it now. It's gonna suck. We have to make a really pretty hot bear. S the smoky, the hot bear. The smoking hot bear. I'm just gonna admit right now that I'm gonna be tracing just a little bit. Just, just a little. They might have a lot in common. Like Audrey's cute and Smokey's a bear and he's cute. As much as I would like to, I'm not gonna draw her shirtless. And if that's why you're here, you can get out. Get out. It's done. And uh, it looks great. And. Oh my god, I thank god I got her a good present too. Now we're gonna see what the birthday girl thinks. Hey honey. Why are you videoing me? I drew you. <laughs> you drew me? Yeah. Okay, look. <laughs> <laughs> it's you fused with Smokey the Bear. Are these things? It's your bear ears. <laughs> Find the generator here. So I've been wondering, what if fast food restaurants went to private school? What? We know these icons now, but what were they before? A jock, a nerd, a goth? Starting with Wendy's and Taco Bell. Uh -huh. Now you might think Wendy's is sassy now, but I can guarantee you she was even more sassy back then. <laughs> back in the day during her goth phase. <laughs> Wendy's was a good student, but she sometimes got mouthy with her professors. <laughs> Draco Malfoy. <laughs> and at the school talent show, her roasts are fresh, never frozen. <laughs> Bitch, do you know what these burger skulls say to me? What? They say I will absolutely curse your entire franchise if you keep copying up on my homework! But Taco Bell, on the other hand, was a good boy with nacho sunglasses. <laughs> and what, you may be asking, was his passion before becoming an absolute icon? <laughs> well, they were a band geek. A percussion <laughs> band geek. I know what you're thinking, he may be a band geek, but he's still a blast. <laughs> a Baja blast. <laughs> When I'm modeling his outfit after my husband's old band uniform. No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> Let's take a look at the first students to enter fast food private oh, school. Oh. Hey, hello to Wendy's and TV. I wish I were this cool or this precious. <laughs> Who do you guys want to see next? We are finally going to watch Turning Red. And just based on <laughs> this image, <laughs> I know it's going to be great. And since it's been my biggest dream to work at Pixar, I'm going to draw what I think I would look like if I was in Turning Red. We are two seconds in, and you know what? I had some of those. What are those? They are virtual pets that would die, like, really easily. <laughs> but you would get really emotionally attached to them. I own three of them. <laughs> we all went through, like, cringy, awkward stages when we were that age, and I feel like it's really important, and it's a good thing that they're showing it in the movie. For example, I used to put a pencil behind my ear because I thought it looked cool. <laughs> oh, no, no, <laughs> no, because I feel so called out right now. This was every single sketchbook I had in middle school. There's still a lot of this, just too much. <laughs> Gone. Um, I used to wear a lot of tie-dye when I was that age, so rich. Yes, love of my life. <laughs> Could you look up tie-dye jackets for me? Stunning, darling. <laughs> and here I am in all my middle school glory. What do you guys think? Pretty close? So for a while now, I've been working on what if the 50 states were alive. And you know, rich. I think it's time for a recap. Oh, <laughs> so far we have Florida, Oregon, Minnesota, Arizona, Alaska, Wisconsin, Georgia, Utah, Washington, Colorado, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Jersey, New York, Hawaii, Ohio, Idaho, Nevada, Indiana, Illinois, Kentucky, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Texas, Delaware, Montana, and Pennsylvania. I took a little break from the series. It was, it was a lot. But I'm ready to get back into it, and I need your guys' help because I don't know enough about your states. So please, let me know what makes your state interesting. And what states do you guys want to see next? Let's draw something random. And who is it gonna be? Slender Man? Oh god. Do I even dare to ask what he's doing? If they were a magic girl, of course. <laughs> Gordon, you're about to get a friend. He's gonna be a very horrifying magic girl. <laughs> Bringer of death and sparkles. <laughs> and I can think of no better way to start than with a sketch. So I'm gonna make his magical outfit very goth. But I mean, we have to keep the tie. He's all business up top, but magic at the bottom. You know, this kind of makes me wonder what it would be like if all horror movie characters became magic girls. I don't know if that's the movie I really want to see or I really don't want to see. All right, Rich, I see you making faces over there. What? Um, why is he holding a tiny tree? <laughs> because he lives in the forest. I don't know what kind of wand to give him, okay? Oh, he's ready. <laughs> oh, Slender Man, you've never looked more fabulous. And if you guys want to use it, you can find the generator in my bio.